Now to the war in Ukraine. Russian forces have launched a new offensive in eastern Ukraine. Yeah, the battle for Donbas marks another critical move in the conflict. NBC's Bree Jackson has more from Washington this morning. After failing to capture Kyiv, capturing Donbass is now Russia's main goal. Russian forces have been building up for an attack in what's known as Ukraine's industrial heartland. Russia's assault on eastern Ukraine is now underway, with heavy fighting reported in the Donbass region, a much-anticipated fight. <laughs> President Zelensky says his country will defend itself against Russian forces, building up for a new offensive. The Russians are clearly trying to continue to shape that environment, set the conditions uh, so that they can conduct longer-term military offensive operations in the Donbass. This latest phase of attacks comes after Russia bombarded the western city of Lviv, increasing the death toll. A campaign of terror, a campaign of brutality, uh, a campaign of despicable aggression. The U.S. is sending more military supplies to Ukraine, and financial punishments against Russia could escalate this week. It's been an ongoing process, but uh, right now, um, you will still you will see us continue to expand our sanctions targets. Vladimir Putin insists sanctions are failing, claiming Russia has withstood the unprecedented financial pressure. As his relentless attacks continue, some Ukrainians are still holding out hope for peace. We will celebrate our victory when this all ends, and we will win, I know that. In Mariupol, a desperate battle rages on as Ukrainian forces vow to fight to the end. The Pentagon says the U.S. will begin training Ukrainians on howitzer artillery systems. That weapons training will take place outside of Ukraine. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Local 4 News Today.